and you won't believe the crazy ordeal the passengers went through. We actually just now got word on exactly what happened to them and the one tiny mistake that caused all this. First, how did they get themselves in such a dangerous position? Well, these five wanted to be the first regular people to explore the wreckage of the Titanic, and they all paid $250,000 each just to be there. Why on earth were the tickets so expensive? An inventor had to create a vehicle that could survive the immense pressure of the deep, uncharted ocean. In this case, the team were going about 4,000 meters deep to see the Titanic. But there was one fatal flaw that might force these deep ocean tourists and their captain to lose their lives and be lost on the ocean floor forever. At this depth, there is no light and everything you do must be handled with precision so you don't damage your submarine. And before they left on their journey, they were told that the weather was getting bad and the ocean may be unpredictable. But the men on board were not deterred. And these were no ordinary tourists either. British billionaire Hamish Harding, who recently went to space with Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, is one of the lead people on this trip. Tickets to space cost around $50 million, so he is no stranger to expensive travel. He also went on a mission to the deepest point of the ocean in 2021, so he is no stranger to missions like this. Also on board are Titanic dive expert, a luxury designer, and an ultra-rich man from Pakistan, and his 19-year-old son. There is speculation that they should have not gone, but it was rumored that this was the only dive window available in 2023. But there may have been a critical design flaw that had them doomed from the beginning. As you're probably aware, regular submarines have millions of buttons, sensors, regulators, and a highly trained crew. And so did the Blue Origin spacecraft that took Mr. Harding to space. But this small submarine only had one button and unbelievably controlled with one small knockoff PlayStation remote. All this sub has is a few instruments, gaming controller, a small dive window, monitor, and a small bottle to pee into. However, after this tense week of wondering what happened to them, the Coast Guard announced that they found pieces of the sub scattered around the dive site. This means that sometime not too long after they got to the depths, the hull of the sub ruptured from the pressure and they all would have died almost instantly. This just goes to show, even if you are some of the richest people on Earth, you never know when your last day on the planet will be. Make sure to live each day to the fullest and reach out to those you care about.